today I'm leaving for LA to go see NCT in their concert at Crypto Arena. Their concert is tomorrow, Thursday, today's Wednesday. I'm gonna be vlogging this whole experience for you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna split it into multiple parts because it just makes sense for me to just put it all in one. So if it is a bit on the longer side, I'm sorry, but I promise you I'm gonna try my best to cut it down as much as I can. I know you guys enjoy my longer videos and I would just love to include everything that I document in this trip because I just know it's gonna mean a lot to me in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna be heading to the airport in a bit. I finished packing, everything's done. I'll just update you guys whenever I can, okay? I'll see you guys at the airport. <music> Pretend like this is those aesthetic parts where they come into the hotel. I got to the airport. My flight was supposed to leave at 4.10, but then I ended up getting a text that it got delayed until 5. So I was supposed to get here around like 5.30 p.m., but I ended up getting here around like 7. And then it took like about an hour to come to the hotel. So it's 8 right now. I'm gonna go get food somewhere. And I'm just gonna take the food to go and then eat in here in the hotel. I'm planning on buying just like little snacks that I could just munch on. I'm trying to eat as much as I can on this trip because I'm gonna give off a lot of energy at the concert. And I get really, really tired. And I need to make sure that I'm stocking up my stomach, okay? I brought my book. I brought Love on the Brain because I was supposed to be reading my cute little romance book. And I ended up passing out. This is me. Like, an like i was slouched down so bad the reason why i didn't even read my freaking women in stem book is because i got a window seat and so i was chilling i was like okay pff, say less i'm gonna definitely read my book this guy ends up sitting next to me and then another guy sits next to him and they, they like know each other he's like we were just at a conference and someone at our conference had purple hair like colored hair like you and he's like i thought it was you but then like i looked at your eyes and realized it wasn't you they were really nice by the way i saw <laughs> i got the window the guy who talked to me was in the middle and then the guy who was next to him i thought he was really cute he like waved at me he was like oh my god and i couldn't bring out a freaking romance book while they were next to me no thanks so i just didn't bring it out instead i looked like a folded chair i ended up asking him like if it was the same shade and he's like nah he's like don't ask me about hair colors and then the cute guy he was like he's colorblind i was like you're so funny you should give me your number oh uh, but yeah he was cute that's it a little friend of mine commented on my youtube channel saying that there's a k-pop store in little tokyo and that there's a daiso which i didn't know say less i'm gonna go tomorrow and i'm gonna go to daiso and it's gonna be fun and then i'm gonna come back and get ready for the concert also i saw the merch for nct and i'm buying every single item i don't care also if it wasn't obvious i am alone in this trip fernanda nor my sister nor anyone else came with me this is a solo trip i didn't want to say that beforehand because it's never safe it's never good to say when you're going alone on a trip i recommend any of you guys even posting online saying you're going alone on a trip like it's better not to say that until after when you're when your trip is done there's creepy people and it's not safe to be too honest about your whereabouts it's very exciting i've always wanted to travel alone the whole time like at the airport on the flight it just felt like this is something that i was like meant to do <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds i was meant to travel it's the truth so it's pretty exciting i get this bed all to myself let's go to the market let's go get some food i'm gonna be super quick guys i'm scared being alone is scary bro it's gonna be fine so let's go i'm staying in little tokyo tell me why i just go on instagram who who the hell who the hell 
does he think he is? I swear to freak Utah. Utah, Utah. Oh, I need to go. I need to I got the goods. I'm gonna be chilling now, so I'm gonna change into my PJs. I wanna do that cool transition where like you spin and then it, you spin into the... Smooth like butter. Oh my gosh. And now we're gonna eat. I bought some goodies. I'm gonna show you guys. These chips, I've never tried them before, but they look good. Panda matcha green tea, peach mochi, I think. Water, this Hello Kitty chocolate thing, two oranges a banana and some watermelon haichu so i got something called katsudon this is what i got last time it's really good it's from maruya maruya this is how the food looks like yum oh that was hot as soon as i finished talking to you guys on the camera when i was gonna go down and get some food i clicked on utah's instagram and i saw that he was in little tokyo and i'm in little tokyo i got really scared because what if i hadn't oh my god i'm literally blushing what if i hadn't talked to you guys on the camera and i had just gone downstairs i would have run into him what would i have done i don't know how i would react that would have been bad and i saw some other girls walking in little tokyo and i think they had seen him maybe because they were like kind of talking about him and like fangirling a little bit i sent a voice memo to my sister and i was freaking out and i just saw utah's story and he's in little tokyo he's literally outside i'm literally gonna pee i'm gonna pee my pants like i don't i don't know what to do oh my god astri 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 i'm just i've never met a celebrity like like that i ran into taeyong and doyoung in 2019 i think they went to san francisco but like that was different okay because back then i was an in citizen but like not as much as i am now and youth i think i would have just passed out in the street someone would call the ambulance and i would wake up in a hospital i would just die there i'm gonna continue eating i'll see you guys in a little bit have fun brush my teeth sorry that this video is starting off a bit boring i swear tomorrow that's when the fun begins i can't wait to meet all my mutuals and all my friends and all of you guys i've been reading a lot of your comments saying that you guys are going to i love talking to you guys you guys are super sweet super fun i'm gonna be sleeping good tonight i am be dreaming about utah <laughs> Like I said, I wanted to go to the K-pop store to Daiso. I'm gonna go get breakfast and then try to find other shops around here. I don't wanna buy a lot because when I packed, I realized that I packed really tight. If I buy stuff, there's no way it's gonna fit in there. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll figure it out, okay? Literally, as soon as I got into this hotel room, I made it so messy. Like, I didn't even bring that much, but this whole like counter is just filled with stuff. Like, I need to be better. Okay, I finished my makeup, just something light. I hope the K-pop store has two baddies because that's pretty much all I want to get. I brought my Mark Lee necklace. I kind of want to wear it. I think it'd be cute. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I'm going to film a little get ready with me on TikTok. So if you guys want to go see that, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Let me put on my outfit and I'll show you guys in a bit. <laughs> 
Okay, I put on the outfit. It's really cute. This is how it looks like. I know I said I was gonna carry the Cherry Bomb PC. So I decided to wear this one instead. I think it matches my outfit a lot better. It's from Ame Crochet on Instagram. They were kind enough to send me one of their crochet PC holders. And I still put the one of tail on there. Yeah, but this is the fit, my normal Nikes. I thrifted this skirt, but it's from Urban. And then this white tank top from Brandy Melville. My purse is from an Instagram shop. I'm wearing my Mark Lee necklace, which I made. And then my rings, these sunglasses from Urban. I feel like I look kind of bad. Okay, whatever. But it's a lot sunnier right now. It looks a lot better, guys. It's cute. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, I think this hotel also has breakfast downstairs. If they still have it, I'm gonna go do that instead. I don't know, I'll see. Let's just go down there. I know I'm the worst vlogger out there. I'm just scared I'm gonna get kidnapped. I did so much damage. Like, I don't wanna look at my bank account. I'm not gonna unbox the albums out here because I actually might like pee my pants. I went straight to Little Tokyo and I went to the Sanrio store. I got a Keropi plushie. I got the baby one, the one that looks like a baby. This was 35 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 35 bucks okay moving on i also bought this little camera and it's like a keychain i got the cinema roll one there's like a mirror on the back and then there's like a flash i went to another store i don't know the name of the store but it's like right across from the sanrio store and i finally found some sony angel i bought the vegetable one and the fruit one and it, i swear if i don't get the watermelon one oh the watermelon isn't that cute actually yeah it is the vegetable one i would want to get the radish looks cute the cauliflower looks weird i'd either want the carrot the radish or the tomato these were each 11 bucks and then right after i went to the little breakfast place it was really cute i entered and then they're like table for one and i was like i was gonna take it to go but then they sat me outside in the little like outside area and i was like sitting alone on the table i couldn't eat because all i was thinking about was the concert in mark I don't know why whenever I travel, I just can't eat properly. And then it bites me in the butt whenever I'm at the concert because I get tired so fast. Also, I'm about to die of dehydration. Like, I forgot to bring my water bottle and I'm kind of dying. I went straight to the K-pop store, Play K-pop Cafe. It's like a cafe and they also sell K-pop albums. I went there mostly for two baddies. That's not all I got. I got two baddies, both versions. I got the Digipack, the last Mark Digipack. I saw that they had P1 Harmony. I still need one of their versions. So I got the version that I needed. And I saw that they got Ive, like their recent album. So I got all three versions. That's seven albums. And then I saw that they have twice their recent album too. And I got one version of that one because I needed to. They were gonna give me a free poster, but honestly that wouldn't have fit in my luggage. I couldn't even fit my phone in my backpack or my luggage when I tried to put it in there. I might have to buy an extra luggage and like pay for them to like put it under the airplane or whatever. But we're not gonna think about that. But I am gonna unbox <laughs> the Sony Angels right here, right now. Oh wait, then I went to Daiso, sorry. And I bought some rollers because I needed some because I'm like curling my hair kind of. And then I also found these little like fake plants and they remind me of like the little sprout, like the NCT sprout. I don't know if I'm gonna do this, but I might put them in my hair and like have a little sprout sticking out for the concert. Wouldn't that be cute? Dude, the way my brain works. I'm gonna unbox these right now. I opened up the fruit one. 
Okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god. I got the pineapple. The pineapple's cute. It reminds me of SpongeBob. Oh, I didn't know it had little angel wings on the back. And then the butt and then the pee pee. I don't really like the pee pee, but I think this is really cute. Now we're gonna do the vegetable. They had a bunch of other ones. They had like the birthday one. The animal one kind of weirded me out, not gonna lie. Open the vegetable one. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I got the... <gasps> is this an onion? Wait, I like the onion. Garlic. Okay, I guess it's kind of cute. Anyways, these are my little babies now. Pineapple and garlic. I'm gonna name her... Wait, they're boys. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. I mentioned this in a video the other day or the other time where I can spot K-pop stands from like a mile away. Like I can just tell. I spotted so many K-pop stands here in Little Tokyo and I thought that was really cute. I wanted to say hi to them and like make friends, but I got scared and self-conscious i'm gonna go back now i'm gonna go eat some snacks and drink so much water let's go guys teamwork i'm gonna take off my makeup shower i'm only gonna shower my body because washing your hair when it's dyed when you're traveling is a big no-no at least for me it would just stain everything and i don't have time for that it's currently 2 51 i still have till 5 30 because my friend is picking me up because i'm going to the concert with her i'll introduce her later but she's also a huge mark stand so i'm super excited to experience this with her i'll see you guys when i'm out of the shower okay i'm all showered i'm gonna <laughs> do my makeup all over again i kind of want to film a tiktok transition of two baddies but i haven't practiced it so it's probably gonna be super bad but i'm gonna try okay i just just film like i have so many drafts one of them has to work so i'm meeting my friend sophie i met her through tiktok because she's also a huge mark zinn mark stan mark zinn i met her for the first time at the p1 harmony free show that they had back in october last year especially now like it's gonna hit me super hard seeing all of them because i've seen them perform like multiple times before but i just know this time is gonna be so much different and i don't think i've ever um been to a concert and spent it with a friend who also has the same bias as me like same old basically so this is gonna be very exciting literally <laughs> i can already picture us like just fainting and screaming she also makes content on tiktok so you guys should go follow her too but i know a lot of people are going to the concert alone i did that before for twice if you guys are planning on going alone like everyone there is super nice there's gonna be people like giving freebies if you need help with anything i'm pretty sure any k-pop stand at the venue will be like willing to help you it's totally okay to feel scared like i, I totally get it like even traveling here alone i was a bit like intimidated and like scared that people were gonna perceive me as like this weird person that's just spending time alone but um a lot of people go to concerts alone you're not always gonna find someone to go with like at the kcon concert a girl was sitting next to me and she came alone still to this day i'm super shy to like talk to people and i really wanted to talk to her but for some reason i feel like everyone just doesn't like me <laughs> so i never really approach until someone approaches me and then when i see that like like they like me <laughs> then i'm like okay with her she was alone and like the whole time i wanted to like talk to her and like fangirl with her but she ended up like talking to me when nct dream came out and then like we were like kind of fangirling together and it was just really sweet i wish i had talked to her a bit more so that she didn't feel so alone i'm pretty sure she had like an amazing time if sophie hadn't agreed to go with me i still would have come to the concert alone because i didn't want to miss this opportunity i'm so excited to see what everyone's gonna wear i'm hoping that everyone's wearing green i love the fact that that's a thing with and citizens is that we all just wear green to the concert like i think it's so unique i finished my makeup now i just need to do my hair i got the little rollers i brought my hair straightener fun fact they actually let it through the airport thing so if any of you guys were wondering they do let it through okay i don't know if this is good <laughs> Okay, I think this is done. I'm gonna put on my outfit. Okay, I'll be back. Uh. <laughs> Guys, remember those little flower, those leaves that I bought at Daiso? Look what I did. 
This top, like I mentioned in my other videos, I got it from Depop. It reminds me of Tinkerbell, and a lot of people are saying Tinkerbell as well. This is the bottom. I chose the skirt. Um, this is from Per Shop, like lime green skirt. And then the boots are from Nasty Gal. They look big and like hard to walk on, but they're actually really easy to walk on. My voice is cracked. I have my light stick. So cute! My friend made the frog headband. I'm wearing the same rings. My mom recently gave me this guitar, like electric guitar ring, which I think is really cool. These earrings are from Urban, or all of these are from Urban. I'm taking Mark Lee's PC from Two Baddies with the green um, PC holder from Hope Brownie. And my purse is from Instagram from Mini PNG. I'm only gonna be carrying my wallet, my phone, some lipstick and portable charger. Cute fit. I'm so excited. I'm super nervous. The last time I ate was the breakfast thing and I feel like I should eat again, but I really do not want to. Also, I don't know if I even mentioned, but I did get floor seats, so, so I'm not surviving. <laughs> That's just what it is. I'm not, I'm not going back home. I'm staying at the arena. I finished the banana. I'm so nervous. These are really good, by the way. Boop, 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 boop. I forgot to mention, I literally did not do the unboxing for the albums that I got. I don't know if I should include it in this video or include it in another one. I don't know how long this video is going to be. If not, then I'll just have to open them when I get back home. Sorry for leading you guys on. I know I said I was going to open them. Also, look at this view. The streets definitely got a lot busier. As the sun is setting, I feel like a lot more people are coming out. I'm going to head down to the lobby and wait for my friend just so it's like really quick for us to go. Yeah, I'll try to vlog as much as I can. Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Okay, I'm here with Sophie. Hey! <laughs> Who's your bias? Mark Lee! <laughs> bias record. <laughs> I'm gonna say Hechan. Hechan, Hechan, yeah. okay. For now. We're over here. Hey. Oh. Hi! <laughs>
I go by the name of Mark. <laughs> Today I'm dyeing my hair, you know, for you, for you guys. Please enjoy the show, thank you. Thank you for inviting us.
just got back to my hotel room i just said bye to sophie the concert i don't even i don't even know i need to take a shower it's almost 1 a.m but i'm sticky and i don't want to go to sleep like that so i'm gonna take a shower really quick i'll be back okay i promise i'm showered i know it probably looks like i didn't shower but i did i got a merch i got the t-shirt it's so cute i love it i wanted to get a hoodie or a sweater but i didn't think they were that cute i should have just done it though but it's fine i want to show you guys some of the freebies that i got you guys are crazy that's all i'm gonna say one of you guys one of you guys decided to give me their tail pc i couldn't believe it I think people <laughs> giving away their PCs is like, bro, like marry me, you know? And then someone else, someone else gave me a Utah PC. I got, I can't, I don't even know how to express how grateful I, like not even just because they're PCs guys, it blew my mind, okay? I also got another freebie. Oh my God, there's a lot. There's an NCT sticker and then there's a Utah PC. He's doing a P sign. I see a Johnny photo card. Hello? Oh, some stickers. Mark, tail and Hechon sticker. You can never get enough of stickers. NCT127. Oh my God, Johnny. He, Johnny was insane. Jaehyun, it's a Jungwoo photo card thingy and it has all of them on the back this one gave candy so there's a stardust oh, a phone charm it says the link la and then it says mark and it's a little keychain or a little charm thing i'm gonna attach it to something i promise i see a postcard or a little polaroid then this is the last freebie that i got a lollipop a little dummy a dum dum another little candy look at these i wanted this printed 
and i got it that's basically all the freebies that i got there's so many of my mutuals that i needed to meet and like i didn't again thank you so much to everyone who came up and said hi to me i feel sad because i didn't get to meet all of you everyone who came up to me was super sweet everyone looks so gorgeous everything just made my day like you guys just make the whole experience like a lot better even though like we're all there to see nct just like meeting up with friends and meeting up with like other people that share your same interests and like talking to each other about it like it just makes the experience like a lot funner and like memorable i don't know if funner is a word so the concert i don't even know what to say because ever since the kcon concert i've been just like spacing out when i'm at concerts and not the spacing out kind where like i'm bored i feel like my body is just there but i have like no feeling when the show first started i was so energetic i was screaming like crazy halfway i was just like gone i'd be like and i'd be looking at them and i'm like it happened to me at kcon it happened to me now i don't know if it's just because it's like a surreal moment it's like an out-of-body experience it felt like i was looking at a screen like it didn't even feel like they were there i was joking around with my friend and i was like dude it was probably like cgi like it was probably like fake like they weren't even there because it just didn't feel real like i just i blacked out i had such a great time i loved spending this whole concert experience with sophie and it was really nice experiencing it with like a mutual um i've never really done that like spent a day or like a concert with a mutual that i've met online like i've never ever done that so it was really memorable experience for me we were both freaking out of a mark like the whole time i can't even mark he's, he's not real he's not real he's literally right i'm delirious i was in fifth row and my view was great my camera is trash like i need to update to like the iphone 2000 someone in front of me was like zooming in super close to like literally up their nostril and i was like i need that camera usually i check the set list before every concert that i go to because i want to know what songs are performing but like i didn't for this one so everything was a surprise to me later on i realized that they didn't perform punch <laughs> they didn't perform senses they performed a lot of songs from neo zone after every concert it's bound to have a new New bias record right as we all know my mark is but my mark is biased my bias is mark utah and tail the people who bias wrecked me jungwoo was smirking so much and he's so handsome i was just blown away also hechan hechan was flirting a lot he was smirking a lot and just like his whole stage presence was very like flirtatious and then johnny i feel like i'm talking a lot and it's literally 1 30 in the morning i might make another video talking about the whole nct concert experience if you guys want to see that i feel like that might be a bit too much overall 10 out of 10 memorable experience i hope they come back again and even if they don't come to the bay area i'm gonna try my hardest to find them wherever they go again i don't regret this trip at all it was such a huge learning experience for me traveling alone i would do anything to see them again like they truly make me the happiest and i love being surrounded by other people who enjoy them as much as i do also guys i literally i signed the nda okay <laughs> wait someone people who came up to me in in the beginning when i got there <laughs> they were like girl you better <laughs> sign that nda stop i can't you guys are so funny i'm gonna go look at my concert videos now maybe cry a little bit i'll see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early good night I had the most adorable dream of Mark. My friends that I don't even speak to that much anymore were in it. I don't know. That's what made it like so real to me is that I have a friend. We don't keep up with each other that much, but we still like message each other. They were one of like my best high school friends. Like they were in it and they were the ones who like did this thing that they would literally do in real life if they had the chance. <laughs> I don't even know how I woke up like there was nothing to wake me up from that but i just decided to open my eyes and then when i realized oh my god my heart sank to my butt okay my non-existent butt it sank down there anyways i woke up on time it's 8 44 in the morning i set an alarm at 8 30 and one at 8 40 and one at 8 50 in case i didn't wake up i think i'm gonna go back to little tokyo because i want to get more sunny angel i thought i got the plant one and i didn't i have to leave this hotel by 12 and my flight is at three but i want to get to the airport at like freaking one 
or 12 30 because i do not want to miss it i hate them for not going to the bay area for not having more dates if they had like a full-on tour went to way more dates oh my gosh i would go to all of them i don't care i'm gonna get um ready probably put on some makeup because oof. i'll keep you guys updated How I managed to fit everything in these two is beyond me. My albums are in here. The plushies, my clothes, my boots, the hair straightener, pants, my tank tops, my makeup bag, my toiletries, my jewelry, pouch, a book. I'm gonna be carrying this little mini purse. I literally hung every possible thing I could. <laughs> Oh, cough attack. Wearing my NC t-shirt. I better see other in citizens. Today, DPR is performing in San Francisco. And I had told Fernanda she was down. And she's down. I didn't realize when planning this trip that literally gonna land like a few hours before he goes on stage i'd still be down to go even if we're a little bit late like i still want to go see dpr i'm like i don't care what seats we have i just want to be inside the venue i think we're gonna wait like super last minute to see if we can get some like really cheap tickets because i'm not trying to spend a lot because pff, this trip really drained my wallet i'll let you guys know and i'll put some clips here that's gonna be crazy one concert after the other Sheesh. basically on tour <laughs> okay i'm gonna head out now and i'll try to vlog 